Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve linear equations on IXL. Uh, what we are working on is J5, solve advanced linear equations. So the first example, before that, before starting to solving this question, uh, when we solve an equation, the point is getting the variable by itself to see what it is equal to. Okay, we are going to given, we are going to be given a complicated equation and then we are going to try to uh, get the o the variables together if we have more than one variable the same variable uh, together and then we will isolate that variable to do this we are going to use inverse operations so if you have two things added I and if you want to cancel one of them out if you want to get rid of one of them we are going to do the opposite or the inverse operation of the given one so when I look at here, I see two sides separated by the equal. So on the left, I have p minus 4 divided by negative 4. On the right side, I have 3. So one side is a fraction, the other side is a whole number or an integer. That's an integer. So left side is a fraction, right side is not. So what you can do, th there are multiple ways of solving this question. The one that I, I like the most is cross multiplication method any number can be written as a fraction any number that you know so far can be written as a fraction and all you have to do is take that number and divide it by one the value wise it is still the same so let's say your number is negative two when you divide this by neg positive one its value is still negative two but it just looks a little different it looks like a fraction so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna divide the right side by one to make it a fraction now left side is a fraction right side is a fraction I can do cross multiply so multiply the numerator of the left side numerator is the top and denominator of the right side and right on the side p minus 4 times 1 so when I start like since this is the first question I'm gonna write everything step by step so what I do is p minus 4 times 1 and then the other cross multiply multiplication is going to be my other side so this is the left side and I will have my right side in the middle I'm gonna have my equal sign just like here so the other side is going to be negative 4 times negative 3 let's write it you can put them in a parenthesis if you want to in, or in two parentheses that's up to you uh, the result is not going to change now we learned about this last week distributive property or distribution property when you have a number outside of a set of parentheses you can basically just distribute it and then do it like one, one times p which is any number or variable by multiplied by one equals to itself so p times one is p and then negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 now this is my new left side bring down the equal if you do it step by step and make sure everything aligns you're not gonna get confused with the sides of the equation but if not over 30 percent of you are going to mix the sides and then negative 4 times negative 3 any two negative numbers when you multiply those two it turns into a positive 12 now again pay attention to the sides you have if you need to keep dividing your equation and your center is going to be the equal sign okay that tells you the signs so I have P on the left negative 4 on the left and 12 on the right look for the right uh, look for the like terms negative 4 is a number, 12 is a number, they are like terms, we can combine them together so how we combine them if they're on different sides we just do the opposite of one of them 12 is over here negative 4 is over here, I just want to get rid of that negative 4 and I want to have my numbers on the right so that P is isolated if you focus on the left there is only P minus 4 I want to get rid of that negative 4 by doing its opposite like plus 4 plus 4 the reason for this is remember I was trying to get the variable or the P all by itself negative 4 is right there I want to get rid of that one so these are gone 
drop down the P on the left side, drop down your equal, and combine these two numbers. 12 plus 4 is 16. Okay, P would be equal to 16. So let's do another one. Solving equations is one of the fundamentals of Algebra 1, so make sure you do this right. Do not use any other resources to get this these questions done. Bring out a paper and a pencil. Start solving these questions step by step. Okay, another one. Same thing, a fraction on the left, a number on the right. I will do cross multiplication by making that look like a fraction. So, and remember, when you multiply h plus 4 by 1, it equals to itself. So instead of writing them next to each other, this time I'm just going to put h plus 4. Because you multiply it by 1, it, it equals to itself. And then what we do is 2 times 3. I hope that everyone knows what 2 times 3 is, which is 6. I didn't want to put 2 times 3 in there as an, as an extra step, because we did it in the previous question already. Now, we have a number, a number. I want to put them together. They are not on the same side. That means I need to do the inverse of one of them. Since the variable is on the left side over here, I want to get rid of that 4 so that I can get the h by itself. How do you get rid of that plus 4? By doing its opposite. So the opposite of plus is minus 4 on each side. Now h would be equal to 6 minus 4 is 2. So that would be my answer. Now I'm going to skip a level to see what other types of questions we have other than a fraction and the whole number. Okay, now we have a distribution property on the left side. Solve for h. h is over here. It's not isolated. I want to get it by itself. So the f there are two methods. I'm going to show you both. For the first step, there are two methods. So the first one is... you can use whichever is more convenient for you I know that you're not gonna like either one of them since this is a math but you gotta pick one and then stick with it so the first thing that I want to show you is distribution property since we had that one that property last week and it was like real close so 3 times h is 3h and then 3 times positive 2 is positive 6. That's my left side now. Bring down the equal and 9. I have a number, another number. They are on different sides. I want to get rid of the 6 so that I can try to get the h by itself. Whatever you have on the side of that variable, get rid of them. So minus 6, because it was positive, I want to cancel it out. So 3h equals 9 minus 6 is 3 so h is still not isolated there's a 3 next to it it is multiplied I want to get rid of the multiplication I need to do the inverse which is division so h would be 1 that's the first method the other method that I'm gonna show you right now is not going to work every single time you have a similar question I'll explain why, but if it works, you will see it real quick. Like it's not something that you can you, you want to test and see. You will be able to see whether it's going to work or not. And if it works, it's going going to take less time. So here we go. Since this is a product, three times an expression, right? It is three times. What if I just divide each side by three? If you can divide these two numbers, 9 and 3, then you can go ahead and follow this method. If this is not going to 9 over 3, if that was 10 instead of 9, you wouldn't be able to do this method. So 3 and 3 multiplied and divided, they are canceled, They cancel each other out. 
and then bring down your left side. Now I only have H plus 2 on the left. Bring down the equal and do the division. 9 over 3 is 3. To get the H by itself, there is a plus 2. You need to get rid of that plus 2 by doing its inverse. So H would be equal to 1. That's one less step. So pick one method, stick with it. But again, this method is not gonna the right side is not gonna work all the time because you cannot always divide this number by that number. For this question, yes, you can divide it. But what if they are like three and ten, or four and fifteen? It, you wouldn't get a whole number when you divide them. So let's have the answer was one. Let's type it in and then submit it, and then do another question. Some of the questions are going to be as simple as this one. Even though it is at 75 level, look at one side and see, since I have like a lot of terms on the left, I want to see if any of them are like terms right now. So 6G, 3G, 6G, they are like terms. I want to combine them together. Positive 6 is the first one, minus 3. So what I have is like, let me do it on the side, 6 minus 3, and then there is another positive 6 this is how many G's I have so it would be 9 G okay when I combine these three together it's 9 G couldn't they find another letter 9 in G okay so on the left I also have negative 4 and then I have my equal sign on the other side I have a number so I put the like terms in the same color since I have two numbers, negative 4 and 5, they are like terms, they are in red. One is on the left, the other one is on the right. Here is how I know that. The equal sign tells me where my sides are. So I need to get rid of that negative 4 by doing its opposite. So it's plus 4 and plus 4. This is gone. On the left, I only have 9G. Bring down the equal and your number on the right side 5 plus 4 is 9 to get the G by itself we divide each side by 9 because I want to cancel this number out by dividing it by itself so 9 would be my bad G would be equal to 1 9 over 9 equals to 1 so moving on to the next level let's do it one question from this level and then we are done okay so since we have decimals in here and I know that if I divide each side by three I'm gonna deal with one less step because of the previous qu not the previous question the one before so let me just write it up here first three times h minus 7.6 equals 5.1 now if I divide this is a uh, decimal anyways so I can divide each side by 3 I don't care whether I'm gonna get a decimal or not because I already have a decimal in there you can always do this uh, yeah you can always do it uh, you can always divide each side by that number if you're okay with dealing with decimals so now look at the left side threes are gone I have H minus 7.6 h minus 7.6 what about 5.1 divided by 3 that would be let me see 1.7 okay and the next step is I need to get rid of this negative 7.6 so that I can get the h by itself and it's already negative I want to cancel it out that means I need to add this number to each side Let me do it like this. Okay. So when you combine like terms, make sure you align the numbers and their place values. Okay. If you have a decimal point, make sure they align so that you don't make a mistake when you add or subtract them unless you want to use a calculator. So on the left side, I only have the H. I'm going to drop it down to the left. I'm going to drop down the equal sign. And then now I have 1.7 plus 7.6. So when I add them together, 
it gives it gives me nine point five. Another option was distributing this three into these two numbers. That would take one more step than this, so I I decided to stick with this method. Okay, that's all for this video, guys. This is how we solve an equation. If you have any parentheses, if you have any distribution, you can either do that or you can divide each side by the number in front of the parentheses, uh, and then. Combine the like terms, try to get the variable all by itself to have your answer. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in another video.